Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 24 today, verses 9 to 12. Let's pick up the story where we left it yesterday morning. Then they returned from the tomb and told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them, who told these things to the apostles. And their words seemed to them like idle tales, and they did not believe them. But Peter arose and ran to the tomb, and stooping down, he saw the linen clothes lying by themselves, and he departed, marveling to himself at what had happened. So the women had told this story. The women went there to take care of the body, right? To treat it with the anointed with the spices, to clean up his corpse for burial. And they come back with this amazing news. Not only is the tomb open, not only is Jesus missing, but we talked to these beings, by the way, and they told us that he's not dead, he's alive. And when they heard that, the apostles, the disciples, they heard that, and, and what does the text say to us? It says explicitly to us, they did not believe. Like, what? They didn't believe? But, but they began to think about it, and Peter began to think about it. And finally, he started moving towards the tomb. He had to see for himself. And, and I don't know if he just like started kind of walking, and then he got faster, and then he began to run. I don't know, but we do know he ran to the tomb. And he gets there, and he, he, he down into the tomb, and looks, and it's just as the ladies said it would be. Empty tomb, and that's where things are right now in the story. The tomb is empty. Jesus is missing. But the ladies had a story. He's alive. I could sort of see this in my mind's eye. I can imagine it again, that Peter started moving toward the tomb, and then he began to run. He began to realize what this might mean, what this could possibly mean. Because he had not, wasn't believing what he first heard. But there must have been something in there, something that he, because why else run there? Hey, if, if look, if there's no reason to run. If Jesus is not going anywhere if he's dead, if the lady's not telling the truth. If his body's been taken, there's, there's no reason to run. But I believe it was in, in a, a little spark of hope that began to spring up. And Peter runs to the tomb. And we see here the beginning, just the beginning of the good things that are coming. Good things that are coming because our Lord is alive. The Gospel of Luke, I hope you'll sit down one day. And just take a few hours, it only takes a few hours to read it. Go to Luke chapter 1, verse 1. And we've gone through these two or three hundred videos. Go through and read it. It's one thing to watch a video, but reading the gospel in your own Bible as you turn the pages, go do that. Follow the story all the way through. Do it, do it like an airplane reading, right? Where you, you set aside two to three hours, that's what it will take. Set aside three hours of your time and read the gospel straight through. Sure, you can take a bathroom break. Read it straight through. Have a glass, tall glass of cold water there. Read it through prayerfully. Look at what happens. And your heart will be moved because this is a supernatural book. It's a supernatural writing. And hear this story. The story is true, and it affects all of us on planet Earth. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your truths. Thank you that Jesus uh, inspires hope, even a little bit of hope. Help us to run toward the empty tomb, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Run toward Jesus.